hi guys and welcome to my channel if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button hit that notification bell so you can be updated every time i post a new video and today y'all get into this beat but yeah this is my updated makeup tutorial i ain't even gonna hold y'all for too long let's get right into this video hello stranger it's been a minute since we last kicked it Hey y'all, so my face is already clean, but just for extra cleanness, I use these anti-blemish pads and just wipe down my face before I start getting into my makeup. Okay, next y'all, I'm going in with my primer. This is Hydration Touch by NYX, and I love this primer. I absolutely love this primer. I feel like it's more so for dry skin um i also go in with another primer called angel feel and this is just gives it like a creamier touch is it's literally everything but i use both of these primers when i prime my face and the reason why i go in with both primers y'all is because i feel like i have a mixture of dry skin and oily skin so i just use both Y'all already know I'm rocking with my girl 50 Beauty by Rihanna. So I have two shades, y'all. I have shade 445 and 440 because I feel like my skin tone is... She didn't have one set for my skin tone that I found yet. So I just go in with both of them, mix them together as y'all just seen, and then make it more closer to my natural color. So yeah, you'll see me here just blending my foundation in all together. I'm going in with my Tarte Concealer in the color Deep Sand. This concealer, I would say, is like one tone lighter than my skin color. They say usually go two tones lighter than your skin color. I got the plug, I made the coffee. So usually these are all the places where you should use your concealer, basically just to brighten up the middle of your face, basically. So y'all, I'm wetting my beauty blender because I'm a beauty blender type of person. I do have brushes, but for the most part, if I'm doing like a fast makeup or I'm just trying to get out the door, I'll go ahead and just use my beauty blenders. So right here, I'm just blending in my concealer. I always remember though that when you are blending your concealer in, do not over blend you still want to be able to see your concealer when you're done like blending it should not look like one set color once i'm done with my first color i go in with my concealer that's a lot lighter than my first color concealer don't mind me y'all i was literally just jamming to some music but i did not record myself blending this part in so y'all just go ahead and just blend it in up under your eye then you'll see me going right in with some juvia's place contour baby i wonder I low-key like using brushes a little, especially when it comes to certain things, but just look how I'm just circling my contour around just to make it look so bomb. Then, y'all, I am going in with my bronze by Morphine. I love, love, love this bronze. It is in the color Trailblazer. I love it. Y 
y'all next i'm using juvia's place this is juvia's place setting powder in the color gobi I'm going back in with a little bit of my bronze because I said I love it. I really do love it. But just to tighten things up and make things look a little smoother, good edges, I just go back in with my bronze and just bronze all the places that I did before. This was really for thumbnail purposes, but you'll see right here basically every place I place my satin powder. Y'all, when I'm using a beauty blender, I go ahead and press my satin powder in. And also, it makes it a good look, too, if you press it in. Some people brush theirs off. Some people press it in. It's totally up to you. But I press mine in, y'all. <laughs> I went back in to set my nose, y'all, because I forgot. Y'all, I used my bronze again by morphing to go in and contour my nose. So, you'll see a difference here in a second. But, yes, I just contour my nose with my bronzer. By the way, just got in town. And I won't let cumulus clouds all in the sky. Ruin my vibe. Usually, I don't do this often. But since recruiting. Y'all, this is the part where I get into my brows because I do my brows at the end. I always literally want like a natural brow look when I do my brows, and I'm still practicing on my brows also, so they might not look the best. So, yeah, I'm just using some black eyeliner under my eyes. Let me lay a great job on ya. Don't hesitate, no, don't you? Just say you will, will, will. Y'all, I am going around my lips with a black pencil as well. Just for my lip combo. I did have a brown pencil, but it wasn't dark enough, so I just decided to use my black pencil. Here's a quick look after I get done with my lip combo, but there's still more to come. Yeah, I'm using my bronze metal eyeshadow palette, and I just chose one to just give myself a little eyeshadow. I'm not really big on eyeshadow when I'm doing a quick natural beat. I'm going in with my Hot Fahu 9H Morphine eyeshadow palette, but I'm using this, y'all, for my blush. So, yes, I just go in with those two colors that I just showed you. And I use this as my blush because I love those two colors together. Then I'm going to use my Bare Minimals highlight, y'all. I'm going to just highlight my nose, my eyebrows a little bit, and my cheeks. <laughs> Literally a soft, natural beat. Chill, chill. Mm -hmm. 
Just got in town, and I won't let you miss. 